I am back and now that we've made our molds, we're going to do an experiment and just compare the easy mold compared to the one I made with the silicone and the cornstarch. We're just going to see how these react now with the art resin. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to spray just one each with the baby oil just to act like a quick release. Instead of buying the product from the store, it's a lot more expensive, I'm going to try the baby oil. So I'm just going to spray just the light coating in each one. I'm not going to spray these ones because I want to see if the art resin will release without using anything at all. So I'm just going to rub that in a little bit. I'm going to be using the product Art Resin today. I'm going to mix two ounces of part A and two ounces of part B. Now that I have equal portions of part A and part B, I'm just going to mix them together. I'm going to continue to stir until that's clear. I'm going to be using the Opus Thilo Turquoise from Opus, and I'm going to try some Craft Smart Turquoise, and I've also got some Opus Burnt Sienna. It's called Super Copper and it's just pigment powder. I'm going to try some of that. And I've also got some sparkles. So we'll see how that looks in the shells. Small amount of pigment or acrylic paint. You can't put more than 6% in because then the resin will not set. So I'm going to pour the resin into the molds here. Dip it into the acrylic paint, but just barely. You don't want very much because you're going to be causing your resin not to set. But just enough to give it some fun swirling patterns. I'm going to put a little bit of the pigment powder into the burnt sienna. And all I've done is put some on the bottom of the stick. We'll mix that in. And we'll swirl that into this one just to get a different effect on this one. A little bit of blue into this one as well. Come into here and put some blue in this one. And I'm also going to try just a little bit of white. Got a little bit of a marbling effect going on. I'm going to try to put some glitter in. It won't take much, probably just a on the end of my glove here, just to dab it in. I'm just gonna mix that in again. And we've got one more to have some fun with. And some of the lighter blue in this one. Try not to overwork it so you get some fun patterns in there. And there we have our four different molds. I put baby oil in these two but I didn't put any in these because I wanted to try and see if that would help release the molds any better. The other trick you can do is put them in the freezer if they're not releasing all that easily, but I haven't done that. So let's just give it a go and see how we do. So that one's come out quite nicely. So there we go. There's my one shell. And this was from the Easy Mold product. This was the mold that I made from the silicone and cornstarch. This one's a little bit harder to get out. Okay, now this has come out and it's actually got some of the mold attached to it, so I'll have to scrub that off. Now this side, I had the baby oil. And that's come out quite nicely. There you 
go. You can see it sparkles in that one. And the silicone and cornstarch mold. So I'm finding the cornstarch silicone molds are a little bit harder to release, even with the baby oil in there. There we go. And again, it's left the residue. I'm just going to take those to the kitchen sink and give them a bit of a scrub. I will be right back. The shell here was made from the cornstarch and silicone mold on the back again. It's just beautiful on the back. I was really hoping to capture that on the front. But again, it could have been the baby oil that I used for the quick release. And I don't really find that using the baby oil really made much of a difference as far as releasing the mold. So I would say don't use any release at all. My favorite mold, I think, would definitely be the Easy Mold product. It's making a nice mold. I can feel that I can reuse that several more times, even though I'm not getting that shine on the front. I'm going to go outside and use this Krylon UV Resistant Clear Acrylic Coating. And I'm going to spray that on top of the shell and let's see if that just brings back my natural color of the nice glassy look finish. Here's what it looks like after I used the Krylon. It's definitely got a nice glossy finish now. Probably not quite as glossy as the back, but it certainly brought the color back out and it doesn't look as cloudy. So that's a quick fix for you. I also had some fun and made some other seashells. I made a mussel, some small scallop shells, and this cute little starfish. I just love the way that that's shining through all the different colors that it's picking up. Thanks for watching Crafty Patty. Hope you're going to make lots of those beautiful shells. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. You never know what Crafty Patty is up to next.